Hey guys, it's Sylvia, Beauty Junkie 824, and I am coming to you this week with my week 24 post op VSG video. Um, today is Monday, February 13th. Um, at the start of my journey, I was 243.8. Um, last week, I weighed in at 149.1. This morning, I weighed in at 147.6 which gives me a loss of 1.5 pounds. Uh, that brings my total since surgery to 61.4 pounds and my total weight loss to 96.2 pounds, which means that I am very close to losing 100 pounds. Um, I am also very close to uh, being at a healthy BMI. Uh, once I get to 141, I will technically be in a healthy weight. So that is about six pounds or so away that I'll actually be in a healthy weight. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I went jeans shopping late last week or, or last Friday. Um, and... I went into the store and I tried on the size 10 because I'd been going to Old Navy all the time and trying to fit into the skinny mini jeans, which I really like the shape of those jeans. But every time I was like, the 12s are too big, I'm not buying a pair until I fit into the 10s. Wasn't fitting into the 10s, wasn't fitting into the 10s. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to go to Old Navy to look for jeans. I'm going to go and look elsewhere. So I hit up a couple of stores. Um, I went to New York and Company, and then I went to American Eagle, and I stopped at Forever 21. Um, I went to New York and Company, and the tens were way too big. The eights fit me perfect. Yes, eights, okay? I did not believe it myself. I thought, ah, there's no way I'm in a size eight, but it is true. I um, I tried the eights there, they fit me, so I bought a pair of pants there. And then I went to American Eagle to go and look for jeans because they didn't have any eight jeans um, in the style that I liked at New York and Company. So I went there and I tried on the eights there and both pairs that I tried, one was a skinny jean, one was a boot cut jean, fit me perfectly like like a glove not too tight no muffin top just fit nicely um it was amazing i mean i i think at the first store i it hadn't really sunk in or i thought okay well maybe their clothes are just cut this way that it makes me you know that i fit into them but once i went to the second store and i was able to get into a size eight I started crying, you know, I was in the dressing room and I was just like astonished because I can't remember ever, ever being in a single digit number uh, for a size. I remember there used to be a store called 579 and when I was 11 years old, we went into that store to go because um, my dad said that. I should be able to find pants there because I didn't fit into little girls pants sizes anymore. Um, so we went into there and a couple of the things fit in the largest size there that were elastic waistbands. But nothing fit, no, nothing else fit. I couldn't wear five, a seven or a nine at age 11. So the fact that I am now 32, or 31, sorry, and I am in a size 8 is just amazing because I remember going into that store and thinking, I'll totally be able to find something here because the stuff in the kids section, I didn't fit in any of it anymore. And uh, being so disappointed and having my my dad be disappointed in the fact that I couldn't even fit into that. Um, yeah, so that was, it was just an amazing feeling to be inside of that dressing room and, and feel that way. That I had accomplished so much and I am 
in a new place and I've always known that I'm in a new place along this journey but having that happen was just amazing um, okay I'm getting really long now sorry for the chattering on um, but really I made a note that I'm at a point right now where I feel like this this body is me I um, in my head we, even when I was larger I always felt like regardless of what I saw in the mirror you know I always felt that what I look like now is more of what I look like in my head and you know I just my body image was off but you know I, I felt like that and then when I'd see pictures of myself what I really look like I'd be surprised and you know thinking to myself like oh my god that's really what I look like and you know it never really hit me and even after I saw pictures I would still forget and when I'd get dressed the next day I would see myself the way that I felt I looked in my head and you know, start it all over again. But right now, in this body, how what the size I am or how I feel and everything is how I, I feel like this is me. This is the real me. This is who I have always been in my head. This is me. And that in itself is an amazing feeling. And I just, I, I, I just, that, I can't even explain it because I've never felt like this before. So, Everything like this is all new and, you know, it just, I, I can't believe it. Um, and onward, I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping all over the place today. Um, I took a rest day today. Wasn't feeling that good. Aunt Flo came into town. I was crampy and crabby and it was pouring down rain and I've been working my body like crazy six days a week and even on my rest day I'm on my feet for eight hours a day working you know um, I do hair and makeup so I'm working and moving around all day long on my rest day and um, I just felt exhausted and every muscle in my body has been hurting and so you know I've, I just felt like okay maybe today I just really need to rest and also, I had to go and have my blood work drawn because my six-month um, post-op appointment is coming up at the end of February. So, 13 vials of blood later, I should have results from whether I have any vitamin deficiencies or anything like that. Which I don't think that I should because I have been diligent about taking my vitamins every single day. The one that I do slack off on is the iron because it's so picky about when you can take it. So if there was a deficiency, that's what it would be. But I still at least remember to take the iron three times a week. So I think I should be just fine. So anyways, that's it. Um, I did do a quick body shot. I'm going to try to attach it to this video. Um, and that is about it. So anyways, I hope everybody has a great week. I'll be making my week one video for the Losing It With Rebecca Challenge this Thursday. And I'm um, still excited about that. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, yeah, it's hot in here. It's got a blue